they all classified staff. So I hear a motion. So moved. I got a motion. Do I hear a second? I got a motion and a second. Discussion? Members of the audience, uh, teachers, and classified staff, and other interested people, families. Um, the buck does stop here, and this is the job I signed on uh, some years ago. Uh, many times the speeches that you make when you're giving people bad news are more about yourself they are about the people that are being harmed by your decision. I'll try not to do that. Over 40 years ago, I decided that I would never participate in doing personnel. I didn't like it. I was no good at it. And so here I am tonight making personnel decisions for 15 people, and it's not very pleasurable. But I I have to say that I am absolutely convinced the state budget is built on nothing more than smoke and mirrors, that there are going to be further cuts, that we haven't gotten the worst news yet, that they are hiding the ball, and that our general fund is going to be affected in the coming fiscal year. I am absolutely 100% convinced of that, and therefore I have to say that I think it would responsible of me not to look at the big picture down the road in the next many months. I say all of that in spite of the fact that this has been too fast, it's not fair, you deserve better, and it's going to be a hardship for employees, students, and the college. I find it ironic or weird or sick that the students we harm most are apparently the most vulnerable. But I just gotta, I've just got to face the numbers, and I, I just can't get around that. And I hope that both unions are able to work with the administration and bargain in good faith to come up with some creative solutions that perhaps save some jobs and bring out some bigger solutions. But having said that, I'm going to vote to uphold the recommendation for the elimination of these positions because it is my, it's my duty to do so. And I don't like it, but that's what I'm going to do. Thank you. This is one of the hardest decisions that I've ever had to make in my life. I have 34 plus years at Mercer College. 11 of them on this board. Six months ago, we felt that we were going to make it through this year, but next year was going to be tough. And let me share something with you that's even more frightening to me. I received a notice in the mail about three weeks ago stating that my property taxes were going to be reduced by 50%. What last year cost me $2,500 a year, I'm only going to pay $600 for the next year. How much of our budget comes from property taxes? And that hasn't even entered into the picture yet. So it's my decision tonight, even though I may appear not to be very compassionate, but I'm concerned for the well-being of Merced College in the next 34 years. We have done a fantastic job in this community. We've never had to do such drastic things as we've had to do tonight. But I believe the figures, and I personally think they're worse than we expect. I, I don't know where to start. But I do know where to start. I'm looking at the list here of 15 names. And they're not, not just numbers, they're people. 
Uh, and they're real people. Some of, some of those people are here tonight. I've been on the board since 1994. This is the first time that I've had to be in this position, to make a decision of this nature. But like Bob, we have um, an obligation here, uh, and that is an obligation to we're, 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 we're fiduciaries for this college. I don't like it. I wish that we didn't have to do this. I would encourage the uh, union representatives to sit down tomorrow and the next day and the next day with Ben. And if something can be resolved, then I would certainly be uh, uh, amenable to that. Um, <clears throat> Other than that, folks, the problem started in Sacramento. <clears throat> and it's been going on in Sacramento for a good number of years. And we're feeling the effects today, and we'll feel it tomorrow and the next several months. Jim was correct in of the property taxes. That is going to hit. It's going to hit in the near, very near future. There's only so much dollars available. We don't have a pretty press. We don't have the authority to manufacture money. I wish we did, but we don't. So I'm, I, I'm forced, literally forced, because it's mandated. I am my, my position to vote for this, but I would encourage the unions to sit down tomorrow and the next day and the next and the next day. And then let Ben hear your possibilities, your options. Um, and he'll listen, he will listen, and our staff will listen. I'm glad to hear that the superintendent's going to have a broad based committee, and he named the administration and the classified and the faculty. Uh, you missed one group, uh, that's the students. Uh, I think that people of good faith can come up to a solution here. I'm, I'm just looking at a page of wants here that's got just on this one page, $458,820. Uh, most of them are wants, not I would hope that this committee could meet by November 10th and have a solution to this problem. I think that people of good faith can come up with it. I'm opposed to voting to terminate people at this time. And I forgot to say welcome to Los Banos, Maisie. As a student history board, as a student trustee on the board of trustees, it is my duty to speak for the students, and so that's what I'm going to do. Um, the students have already, well, just before at the end, I want to say that I understand that uh, this is something that nobody wants to do, nobody ever wanted to be in this position, and that it's. Um, I mean, I understand the numbers, um, and so with that being said, I would like to report or speak of, uh, from from uh, uh, for the, the student body at Mercer College. The students have already suffered a great loss of uh, through the 128 courses that were canceled at the beginning of the semester. Uh, there was also an increase in fees. These layoffs that are being considered would further, further affect our students. Services from student activities, EOPS, DSS, financial aid, and others are programs that serve some of the neediest 